Hey, this is something that I must show. Look at this, hey. What? We were talking about 1100 millimeter wingspan, and look at this, hey. This is something. Look. Uh -huh. This is what we're talking, the perfect size for every car. I mean, look at this, eh? you don't have to disassemble the plane, eh? you just stuck it in your car. You can even drive it on your motorcycle. Yes. And go to the runway in case that you're a clown, eh? Working at the, at the part what? job as a clown, the bows yeah. of the clown. <laughs> you're hang up in the 60s, man, with some clown from the 60s. Eh? Yeah. Of course, uh, I will take this out and let's go to the beautiful table because we must say Today you will have to be quick because it is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Man, eh? This is so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Since we are here eh, and you're holding the camera, uh -huh. I can grab it a little like this. Like this. And I will yeah. cut out for the thumbnail. Wait. Like this, yes. Good. Perfect. I will come closer. Just stand no, no, still, stand. Like this, yes. Perfect. Ah, okay. Yes. Now, what now, do we have today? A beautiful and sexy brand new release from the Jurafly, the iconic, huh, the iconic, the Gloucester, the Gloucester, uh, what? Gladiator. Beautiful and sexy biplane from the Second World War. Now, of course, huh, many of you, like myself, eh, until uh, the Jurafly released this plane, I didn't even know that this plane existed in the history, eh. So, when you will see, you will just say to yourself, well, it's another biplane, eh? But if you will know a little history about this plane, you will look at it in totally different perspective. And I will just tell you a few words about this plane, eh? Go around Captain Blas, show it mm -hmm. uh, how sexy it is while I'm talking. Now, this plane was, of course, like we have said, the warbird from the Second World War. It started to service a little before, a little before, the end. World War II, and of course, hey, it was uh, a little overlooked during the Battle of Britain. Because I will tell you this: on the Battle of Britain, you always see the Hawker Hunters, you see the uh, the Spitfires. But in fact, these planes, the Gloucester uh, Gladiators, were meant to be the second line of defense. Hey. Yes, it did have four machine guns. Do you see? Yes, this I one have also shown has them, the yes. four machine guns. Yeah. But the point is that it was just too slow, eh? All the Messerschmitt BF-109 and all the rest, even the bombers, were faster than this plane. So it is meant as the second line of defense. Now, of course, later, other countries confiscate these planes. Even Germans had a Gloucester Gladiators. I have seen them in, with the German scheme on. Mm -hmm. And they used them to towing the gliders. Oh. The gliders for the for the paratroopers i mean this is unbelievable this is little history of this plane now one little interesting thing is that even during the second world war after the battle for britain and even during that time eh, if this plane there was occasion when two planes were flying like this eh? one was in one was the trainer the officer and in the other was the rookie pilot training but of course since it was war even if they go training when they were going training they had the the, the ammo the, the the plane was filled with the ammo and when they were flying and training hey, they have seen two bombers henkel 111 now this is interesting they saw two bombers going over the england they started to attack those bombers with the machine guns and all of a sudden the flag gun from the ground hit it one bomber directly in the bomb bay. The plane exploded so much that destroyed the second bomber and all the shrapnels also went all around these two Gloucester gladiators that were trying to shoot them down. Eh? <laughs> Luckily, there was nothing wrong with the pilot, with the officer, trainer and the trainee. They landed because, in fact, these planes were still uh, covered with the fabric. Uh -huh. But they did have the, the cockpit, uh, the slide cockpit. This is interesting. Now, of course, later, the, the last um, other countries also had these planes after the Second World War. And it was taken out of service. The last one was in Portuguese army in 1953. Oh. That's it. And today... From around 800 built Gloucester Gladiators, there is still eight original Gladiators existing 
but only two of them are still airworthy. Oh, yes. And one of them, you can still see the videos, check on the YouTube, you will find beautiful videos of the Gloucester Gladiator exactly in this scheme. This is exactly the scheme from the last now flying Gloucester Gladiator in England. Eh? This is it, about flight now, eh? Yeah, <laughs> no, because otherwise I will melt down here, eh? Yeah, of course. A little about the assembly, the assembly went together perfect, no excuses here, eh? everything fits together perfect, it's really simple, I didn't, I didn't even download myself the, the assembly manual, eh? you can see here the compartment for the battery, I was telling you, inside here show the battery, I will use 2200 4 cell batteries, all the way forward, you must stuck it even inside, do you see that hole in the front? Mm -hmm. All the way to the motor and then secure it with this. Eh? Of course, you can put the steel wires here. You have the real steel wires for wiring the plane, but I have found better solution. Look at this. Eh? I have put it myself here, the smooth springs. Mm -hmm. the, the, the rubber wire, how do you call it? Yeah, the, bungee, the bungee wire. It's, it's like a bungee cord, eh? mm -hmm. and later I can disassemble the plane, just unhook this steel wires and that's it. So maybe this is a good solution if you will disassemble the plane later. Eh? Yes. And that's it, enough. Eh? Enough. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm also melting. Eh? Oh, it's so humid. Eh? Oh. The towel, I have the towel here. Well, it's 5 p.m. Eh? What would we do for a good video? Eh? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but I will tell you this, that this week Captain Blush and I will, uh -huh, I will stuck the battery in. Yeah, stuck the battery and you will tell it after the flight because otherwise <laughs> yeah. you will not get Wait, airborne wait. for the next half an yeah, hour. Eh? I said I will be quick, eh? but hey, it takes time. Eh? You can always fast forward now. I will just stuck the battery in and I will push it. All the way down, yeah, but first, yeah, this is unbelievable. First, it's good if you plug it, eh? Mm -hmm. Did it turn the radio on? So I won't do some mistakes. Turn the radio on first. Gloucester Gladiator, I have set this to five minutes and that's it. I think that it will fly for five minutes. I didn't check much other videos. One, two, three, four, eh? and now I will stuck the battery all the way forward inside the motor bay. Mm -hmm. In, uh, all the way to the motor mount, okay, I will call it like this. And now I will put just this foam inside. They have tested this and it works perfect, just like this. And that's it, this should secure the battery good. <laughs> Cover it and what the hell, eh? I can't wait to see this baby in the air. And of course I will be using antennaless six channel spectrum receiver. Of course you don't need the six channels. I just couldn't find the four channel. Yeah, good enough. Anywhere. I have bought at least 20. I have 100 receivers, say. But since I have 200 planes, I'm still 50% short. 200. With the 200. Yeah, I think even that more. is understatement. 300, then. 400, I don't know. It doesn't matter because I will check now something. Rods! Right, left, up, down, left, right, and of course a little throttle. And that's it. Throttle cut on. And now I can take this baby to the runway. Of course, I will go in the mid rates, which in fact are the high rates. Mm. Because in the high rates, I have. Low rates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because in the high rates I have. Hey, was it raining today or what? Yeah. I can swim in this. Yesterday, huh? That's. Oh, uh -huh, I was trying to say that uh, this weekend we will finally we will finally fix the runway. Yeah, I was looking at the weather five minutes ago and it's showing rain on Saturday. Yeah, okay, okay, we are <laughs> hoping to fix this runway put 50 meter carpet on so finally we will be able to film all the jets with the small wheels here so this is it eh? yes good luck the main flight with beautiful and sexy Jurafly Gloucester Gladiator eh? this is it eh? mm -hmm. you know, the carpet is so ruined eh? it, it's time really time Captain Block because I don't even know if I will take off from this eh? Are you ready for something, eh? Yes. Oh, 
Uh. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Perfect. Not bad, eh? I, I don't think that I will need any trimming this time, eh? Yeah. Oh, but this is amazing, guy. And nothing, no trimming, guy. One's from the other side. Low and sexy. Hey, the CG is perfect, eh? Yeah, of course it is. See it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we trapped on, 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 the, on the rail thing. I will go a little back. One full speed. Do it. Let's see the full speed. This is not the full speed. I will go up. Pretty agile, huh? Yeah. Pretty good. It looks so sexy, huh? Yeah. I like those. It's so great that we have finally we have a biplane again, and not just that, we have the Werber thing. And this time it's easy to fix the battery inside. Hey, to tell you the truth, I love it, hey. Uh -huh. Because with my crooked hand, I'm having problem even with the straps, hey. But this time, hey, oh, this is it, hey. One low. One low? Yes. Okay. For the pleasure. Dog fight in the air with the imaginary Master Schmidt. Eh? Mama, <laughs> what was this? Eh? But this is how the dog fights looked like. It was going up. Motor. One last pass. Second. So this is it. Yes. Perfect landing now. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I think that I think that it's time that we put the roller on, eh? Yeah. Blame the roller now, eh? Yeah, I mean, eh? Look at the 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 mole hump, eh? Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable, eh? But still, hey, let's see a little taxing, huh? Mm-hmm. But it's just to be grass. Now we try. Are we putting the high rates? Up. No, no. Yeah, Once you go, you must not stop, eh? Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, if we could mow the runway sooner, eh? But I, I'm, I'm okay now with this landing. I will take it because I know that next week, my friends, you will see a totally different story here, eh? Oh, Captain Blush, eh? Yeah. Check the battery. <laughs> Let's check quick. I mean, I was 30 seconds over. So that means five minutes of using. And I don't know, eh? I wasn't even so slow. Mm. Mm -hmm. This was an average consumption today. And we will see perfectly how much we have left. And I will tell you that this CG, take it there. Check the, uh, the battery and the tell battery. me quick. I will tell you that this battery all the way forward 60C gave me the perfect CG. I didn't have to trim nothing. Eh? If you set your plane sooner, good manually, the later you have less uh, options that you will have the problems in the air. What's with you? 37. Yeah, I'm scrolling through the uh, Aha, So what? 37%. Yeah, that's it, storage voltage, <laughs> I will leave it. Leave it at five minutes, you have seen the battery that I was using. And like I have said, if you stuck it all the way forward to the motor, it will give you perfect ZG. Now, oh, I was a little option, I was a little thinking what it will happen if you have the battery and the uh, foam over the ESC, but it was great and I will check quick now. Check the ESC. I will check the ESC, I will really check it, just to see. Nothing. Just a little worm, not hot, just a little worm. And that is like it should be because the ESC was working now for five minutes, say. <laughs> what to tell at the end, my friends, say? I will salute Jurafly because they have put it on the market. Such a beautiful play, iconic plane. Now, this is why I love this hobby, eh? Because with this hobby, you we will get to know even the planes that didn't know before that they existed during the Second World War. Now we have tested so many planes on this channel, but like I have said, eh, until the day the Jurafly released this plane, I didn't know that this existed before. Eh? Mm -hmm. And now I'm really happy that I know it. Who knows and how many planes there is still to, uh, to, to discover. Eh? Yeah, of course there is. Eh? And I know that there is still many, also uh, many biplanes that can be done in a phone version or electro versions in the future. So manufacturers, if you're listening to this, say, because usually we get all the same planes the, all the time, the same planes in this version, other version, but there is still so many, huh, there is still so many planes to be done, eh? So don't wait too long, eh? The assessment, how should I put it like this? You can see it better like this or what? Or maybe like this a little for the closure of the video. So we can see it from all the yeah. corners. Uh, the, the way it was before. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like, like this a little. Yes. Maybe like this so you can see it from all the sides. Say, I will tell you this. This is really, you will have the link below. If you didn't have a biplane by now, then this is your chance. You can also buy some other biplanes, some sport biplanes. But if you are a world bird lover, I know that you will be happy if you will have in the hangar this one. And I will give the assessment right now. I can give this plane nine and a half without any problem, say. Yeah. No, I will give it nine and 25. I mean, nine and a half, but I will give it also nine and 25. Do you know what? Mm. I will take that quarter of the, of the point away just because... No pilot. It doesn't have the pilot inside there. Do you want to fly? You, can, you could have put it a little pilot inside and then the plane would look even, then the plane would look perfect. And then you would have the plane that I wouldn't change nothing on it because it's perfect. It's flying really great. Don't worry, don't be scared. Eh? Because 
it's obvious that you have here almost double the surface flying surface so that means that the, the biplanes really do fly great. We didn't have by now a biplane that wasn't a good flyer. Eh? And even this one is perfect. Eh? I didn't know what to expect in the air. I was wondering how the CG will be. It was perfect. You have seen now I have set it manually all the surfaces exactly to be leveled and I didn't have to I didn't do even half of the click on the on the plane and it was flying perfect and the CG is great. So that's it, eh? Yes. What to tell at the end? Nothing, eh? Pilot Robert the Captain Blush melting off here in Slovenia for another good video, but it was worth it because we have such a beautiful plane, iconic, brand new release, the Jurafly Gloucester Gladiator, eh? Mm -hmm. This deserves attention from us, from Petrinčić brothers from Slovenia, because it has done its job perfect even during the Second World War and that's the point, eh? Because it has the spirit. This is again the plane with the spirit, eh? Yes. So this is it, eh? Now Captain Blush cut quick! Because we have another plane to film. And then ice coffee. And then <laughs> today we will have the ice coffee. Yeah, but really, eh? Hey, I had the problems in the air because I'm having sweat in my eyes, eh? all the time and it's not so simple to fly eh? but I think that we have done good job Captain Blush huh? yes so this is my friends eh? don't waste your time click on something quick we have shown you so many options that by now I think that you have found something for yourself but even if you're the if if, if you're the, the 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 total beginner just check the video that was posted before this because this video, Captain Wash, I will post after we will post the video of the next plane, mm -hmm. and that is the beautiful and sexy P40 tank buster in a version that I can really recommend to any single beginner pilot. It doesn't matter where you live in the world, day. Eh? So this is yes. it, eh? Captain Wash, get quick because this is nothing. <laughs> we love you all. Thanks, eh?